Hi friend, it's Crystal, the content director and photographer over here at Crystal Clear Photography. Thanks for tuning in with me this week. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about a struggle that I notice sometimes business owners are having when it comes to getting their photos and then realizing that their business still isn't taking off. So to dive in, you might be using images in your business and, and say you, you know, had a professional gallery done by a photographer, you've got these photos, you're so excited and you get ready to start uploading them. You got them scheduled out, you're ready to go, you sit back and nothing happens. Well, let's talk about why that might be happening to you and maybe what you could do to fix it if that's the case. First off, I want to say that you should probably do just a little bit of a, you know, audit yourself of your photos and of the way that you have your marketing strategy set up. I talk a little bit about one of my previous blogs, how photography is one piece of the puzzle and part of that puzzle is having a support team to help you when it comes to the marketing or you know making sure that you have taken an opportunity to fine-tune your skills when it comes to your content and what you're delivering to your audience so if your images aren't working it could be the how it could be the how and I say how how are you using it <laughs> um, it could be the when when you might be using it and it could be the where maybe you're not using it in the right place or it could even just be you know lack of overall engagement and marketing strategy so diving in real quick and talking a little bit about the how part of it so how you're using your images makes a huge deal um, a lot of times when photographers have photographed you know say your product for example um, when we have done that we have already you know edited them we have styled them we have good lighting with them um, so there's generally not much you have to do, if anything at all, to your photos. So sometimes how you're using your photos can make a big impact because if you're taking your photo and you're placing it into, say, a graphic, for example, that's covered in, you know, roughly 60% of, you know, other like zigzags and other things and then some text and like all this other stuff going on so that it makes it a lot more cluttered and probably harder to absorb then your audience might not be as responsive to it. The biggest thing right now and the reason why Instagram is growing so fast is because Instagram is very visual. A majority of the visuals that you see are very simple. It's either the photo itself or it's text. In some cases, there is a rare opportunity where it might be a slight combination of the two, um, but the text is very minimal and the image is usually, again, kind of the majority of the graphic itself. So sometimes how you're using your photos can be what's affecting the ability for the photos to actually work well for you. So um, I would just be conscientious of that. I actually have a free download that I will link below here at the bottom of the page for you um, that talks a little bit about the six reasons why your photos aren't working and some ways that you can fix them and a lot of those are predicated around how you're actually using them so I would take advantage of that because I go through those various um, reasons and then talking about how you can tackle it because text and then trying to take your photos and manipulate them in the wrong kind of way um, is how you're getting that so using tools like Canva um, and some other places that help you appropriately size and create graphics that are more visually appealing um, are very important to your business so consider how you're using them and if that might be what's affecting the overall outcome of your images really working for your business. The other thing is the win. So if you are posting your photos at you know 11 o'clock at night, you're probably going to reach some people but you may not reach the right kind of people who are more apt to buy your product. So really making sure that you pay attention to your insights, know your audience, um, and know when to share your photos and where you're sharing your photos is a big deal. Um, that actually goes just straight into the next one. Where are you using them? Um, using your photos through your website, using your photos through social media, um, using them through you know Facebook, Pinterest, you know all of the platforms. Um, it's going to help you gain more exposure, but it all is also tied into your content. So if your content isn't adding value, it doesn't matter how pretty your visuals are, people aren't going to click. 
And if you want people to click and you want people to buy and you want people to follow you and you want people to engage, you've got to have really good content that complements your photos. So whenever I'm going through and creating images for a business that I'm working with, part of that is doing the content direction, which you probably heard me talk about a couple weeks ago, me being a content director and what that means to your business and why working with one can be beneficial, um, is we think about what might you say with this photo and is it going to be something that is going to be relative to your audience and kind of really just tying in all of those pieces together. So content is a big piece of it um, and where you're using it. So if you're using it on Instagram, you upload the photo and you put a quote as your caption and then you leave it. Um, you know, people might relate to it, they might like it, but it's nothing that's super engaging. So Instagram's not going to show it, um, you know, much anyway to the followers that you have, um, then people aren't going to engage on it. And then it gets kind of shoved down and it feels like things aren't going anywhere. So really make sure that the content and the things that you're putting with your images are also just as important and just as in depth and providing value to your audience, um, as you're using them and where you're using them. So, um, when it comes to to the last piece here on why your images might not be helping you or you feel like your business isn't taking off even though you've invested in photos, it can just purely be your engagement and your marketing. Um, those go hand in hand. I have a amazing gal on my team named Natalie who has been helping with making sure that we're able to reach you guys and we're marketing in the right ways and that we're engaging and reaching out and talking to you about your new products and you know really trying to provide value to you. And it's important that everybody have somebody who's helping provide that support or that you're getting some training from because if you're still in the do-it-yourself mode, it doesn't mean that we're saying stretch your budget and go hire somebody to do it for you. Make sure that you take some trainings. There are so many e-courses and books and you know one-on-one -on -one trainings and coachings that you can take advantage of where you can dive in, learn a little bit more about how to create some more engaging content so that when you're posting these beautiful photos, you are getting the attention and the engagement and the likes and the follows and all of the things that are important to you building your business and converting those followers over to actual customers and clients that are working with you and buying from your products. So if you feel like you have invested in your photos and you feel like your images just aren't working or your business isn't taking off, just keep in mind that your images are one piece of the puzzle, that the how, the when you might be using it, the where you might be using it, the content you're putting with it, and your overall engagement and marketing strategy are all big pieces of the puzzle to making everything work for you. The photography won't be the be all end all as much as I'd love to think that it is. Trust me as a photographer, I wanna say that that is the solution. It is just a part of the solution and part of the puzzle that you need to have a growing and successful business. So if you have any questions, maybe feel like it didn't quite touch on why you feel like maybe the images aren't working for your business, let's talk. I'll leave a link below where you can click over to my page, sign up and have a scheduled call with me and we can hop on the phone and dive a little bit more into it. Maybe you're ready to hire a photographer, you've been putting it off for a little bit um, and decide you want to because maybe that is the missing part of the puzzle for you. Let's talk as well. I can provide you with a few different options on what's gonna fit best for your budget and your brand. And not to mention, if you're still in that do-it-yourself mode and all of that sounds overwhelming and you just can't stretch the budget any further, it's okay. Okay, you can totally continue to do your photos yourself through the Flatlay Method e-course that I created. It teaches you my method from idea to concept to props to backdrops, everything from start to finish on how you can shoot photos better for yourself so that you do feel like the photos are just as great and just as engaging as your content and start building your business better today. I hope you have a great week, friend. I look forward to talking to you next week. Um, and again, let's stay in touch. You can find me over on Instagram if you want to keep up with the day-to-day -day stuff and the tips and behind the scenes of all of my projects. Talk soon.